Good morning guys, it is Saturday, it is Vlogmas Day 17. Today I'm going to brunch with my friends. The last time I saw them was a year ago when we went to dinner. It's, I think it's Vlogmas Day 10 or something. I'll link it below. We're headed to Insomnia at Bathurst and Door. Been there once before, their food is delicious. So I'm gonna head there and then afterwards I'm gonna go to the mall to get my Secret Santa gift for my family's Secret Santa as well as my other family's Secret Santa. So today's gonna be just a Christmas present kind of day. I might get Hina's Christmas present, but I'm not too sure. Babe, I think you overcooked one of your eggs. Yes. By the way, I got Hina into Americanos. Hey everyone, welcome back to the car. I also have to get a housewarming gift for um, Michelle and Christelle because we're going to their house next week and this is also a new place for them as well. So Hina's uh, going to work, but she's gonna drop me off at, uh, at brunch before. Um, so she's gonna be early, but at least I get a free ride. Today is the only day that I won't be spending uh, time with her. almost six o'clock and I don't know if you recall but I left the house at like 11 30 this morning we sat there for like three hours just talking and eating and it was so great I went to Burke's and I got my ring cleaned for the holidays and now it's all nice and sparkly I love this ring it's so sparkly now so I have all of these gifts that I'm going to wrap now and uh, I'm pretty excited because the tree is finally going to have some presents underneath it. So I think I'm going to put a movie on and um, wrap some presents and it's going to be great. I did get a package though. Um, this I think, I think I know what this is. Um, a company had reached out to me and they wanted to know if I wanted a copy of a book. So I think that's what it is. So let's open it and see. Oh, crap, don't open it like that. Let's try it this way. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is a book. This is uh, Joyous Detox from Joy McCarthy. This is so great. She also just um, followed me on Instagram, which is pretty cool. 
I'm actually pretty excited about this because Heena and I just decided that we were gonna start the paleo diet. And so I am really excited to see what's in here. It has 100 gluten-free, dairy-free, refined, sugar-free, detox-friendly recipes. And she's so pretty. Look at that. Superfood quinoa bowl. Overnight oatmeal with peaches and apricots. I am so excited for this book. So thank you so much to Joy McCarthy and her team over at Penguin for sending me that book. We are so excited to use it. I am so freaking excited because, I don't know, I love food and I love doing different things. So it's gonna be really great to see what we can pull out of the book and make. I did get a request to do eggnog again this year. I will be doing eggnog. I just, I might do it tonight. I just, I'm missing one ingredient and I might ask Hina to pick it up for me. Um, I, I need cream. We have tons of eggs. So I need cream and I need, um, I really don't want to use uh, unrefined uh, white sugar, but I might have to because eggnog just doesn't taste the same with brown sugar um, and like stevia or truvia, those kind of extracts, extracts don't taste pretty good with it either. White sugar is like the best. Um, so I am missing white sugar um, and I need vanilla. Unfortunately this year, I won't be able to use nutmeg in the eggnog. I did read that nutmeg can contribute to causing a miscarriage and it makes me really paranoid so I just kind of stay away from nutmeg altogether. I'm gonna get the wrapping paper, I'm gonna get to wrapping, I'm gonna put something on on TV. It's just gonna be a great evening. Let me know if you guys are done your Christmas shopping and how crazy it was for you. I know for a fact today, especially Hina's Christmas present, it was heavy. I waited in line forever to get that present, okay? So Hina better be happy, that's all I'm saying. Mel actually gave us all soaps today because she went to Paris in Provence um, this past summer and she brought back soap for us. So the one I picked out was lavender because it smells so good. <laughs> gifts are wrapped and ready to go this is the wife's right here I hope she likes it it's the biggest box and then this is for the secret Santa for Annie's I'm not gonna lie this one was hard to wrap because it's obviously shaped like a I don't know house and then this is for my secret Santa for my brother's Christmas party this is my gift and I have a card for the wife as well. And these are just cards for the kids um, for their Christmas as well. So everybody is taken care of. I still have to get my mom a gift because I'm getting her a gift this year. The tree doesn't look as bare as it did before. It looks a lot better now, which is good. Yesterday, right around this time, I was sitting on the couch and I didn't vlog vlogmas day 16 and here's why so yesterday i was feeling very emotional i was seeing a lot on the news about um what's going on in in syria and it really 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 hit me while yesterday i did the whole morning spiel welcome to vlogmas i gotta go to work i'll see you guys later um the night ended with me not vlogging at all and then I actually came on and I was just kind of, you know, talking about what happened in Syria and I just started bawling. Like I got really worked up about it. I was I was in tears. I was like breathing really heavy. Like I was very 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 upset. I think it just kind of hit me how bad it is over there and it and it's hitting me how as a people and how our governments don't aren't, aren't doing anything about you know the plight of the Syrians and 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 how they're losing their homes and they're losing their children and um, you know I was kind of pleading with you guys to look into the situation and do some research and and try to help out um, where you can you can foster a family you know using the hashtag on social media um, hashtag stand with Syria. I use hashtag stand for Syria um, because the way how I see it, Syria is not really standing right now. They're kind of, they're falling down. A simple hashtag and letting your voice be heard. Speak out against the atrocities that the Syrian people are facing. Speak out against children 
women, men being killed senselessly. I want you to send love and light and positivity out to them. Do what you do, um, whatever your faith is, send your faith, send your love to these people. Some crosses are heavier than others. Right now I think there's some really, really heavy crosses out in the world and I think that we are obligated to help people any way we can just to make that burden a little bit lighter. Donate anything helps. I'm not affiliated with any of these organizations. I'm posting it down below for informational purposes. I will post a link to articles down below that you can read them and you can find out more about what's going on in Syria. Look at this shitload of clothes that I have to fold. Why are you excited? I'm not excited. I can tell if it's an Xbox. No, you can't. I can. It's not an Xbox. No. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Why are you weighing your gift? Because I can. How much does it weigh? 8.8 pounds. So what are you going to do? Google what weighs 8.8 .8 pounds? Are you kidding me? What do you think you got for Christmas, babe? An Xbox. Is it a drone? Please go through my wallet. Tell me what you find. If you don't think I'm good at covering my tracks. I'm gonna open it. You can't open it. You have to wait till Christmas. I'm gonna open it. No, you can't. I'm gonna open it. You can't open it. Like it. <laughs> if you open it, I will kill you. <laughs> you can't open it. No. <laughs> Go away. Come on, just tell me what it is. No. I hope you like it. Come mm -mm. on, just tell me.